This is Daria Shabbat with CorporateProfile.com reporting on the news for Monday, August 27th, 2012. Tropical Storm Isaac is threatening the Gulf Coast and heading for New Orleans pretty much exactly seven years after Hurricane Katrina hit. A state of emergency has been declared in Louisiana, Florida, Mississippi and Alabama. Isaac is a Category 2 hurricane that has the potential to cause significant damage within 200 miles of its center. The storm has already caused havoc in the Caribbean as eight people are reported dead in Haiti while three people are missing in the Dominican Republic. Be strong everyone, be safe, our thoughts are with you. Apple has banked a massive victory over Samsung in the U.S. this weekend, with the consequence of Samsung having to pay out $1.05 billion in damages to Apple. In this high-profile patent infringement case, jurors and legal experts ruled that there was definitely some copying going on on Samsung's side in terms of design and feel of its products compared to Apple. It is widely argued that this win is obviously great news for Apple and its investors, bad news for Samsung and very bad news for consumers who love Apple's iPhone and iPad designs but can't quite afford it or simply don't like the Apple logo. Basically, on one hand, our freedom of choice is being stifled with this verdict, but on the other hand, maybe it will inspire some underdog to come through with some new, cool product designs to rival Apple instead of copying it. Perfect time for Nokia to stage a comeback. I am always rooting for the underdog. Let's talk about Twitter a little bit. So, according to some research, both President Barack Obama and Romney are buying fake followers on Twitter. As of right now, President Barack Obama has 19 million followers, out of which 13 million are fakes. Romney has currently less than 900,000 followers, out of which 135,000 are fakes. Fake Twitter followers can be purchased on dozens of websites, asking for as little as one cent per follower. A sudden spike in Romney followership last month caused some speculation that someone is buying fake followers for him. Well, in a world where presidential campaigns depend on how much money you raise to create TV ads to bash your opposition, the buying of fake Twitter followers is a small offense in my opinion. And apropos Twitter and following and such, if you like our reports, follow us on Twitter. Corp Profile is our name and subscribe to us on YouTube to post your comments. And finally, I am very excited to report that one of my favorite events of the year is kicking off today, the US Open. I would love to see Federer defending his loss to Murray in the Olympics final this year. Nadal, unfortunately, will not be present at this year's US Open due to knee tendinitis. With him out of the race, it is Federer, Djokovic and Murray to fight for the US Open title unless we have an underdog breakthrough through, which would be very exciting. And let's not forget about the ladies fighting it out for the title. I am rooting for you, Sharapova, to take home the title this year. Stay tuned for more updates. Happy Monday, everyone, and may the odds be ever in your favor. I'm Daria Shabbat with CorporateProfile.com, reporting directly from Wall Street. Thank you for watching, and please tune in again for more hot financial and world news.